Cartana Arcanine Fini, so AFK core, and it's like A or it's like K A F core. Uh, but then we have Aerodactyl has Sash, uh, Gigalith has either like a Vest or a Z move, and Coco has a Life Orb most likely. So there's maybe even a Vest or a Sash in the Cartana too. I think it's a Vest on Cartana, and this shows it by him having an Aerodactyl. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this game. I think I'm going to go... I'm actually probably going to go Raichu, Aer Raichu Gyarados here. I think that's actually the play. Because Gyarados actually poops on like most of these Pokemon that aren't like Feeny, and I have a Raichu for that. You came in right at the start. Yeah, I just went live. Alright, then we need backups. Uh, I do think that uh, Coco is good here, and then we will bring... I do think Celesteva is good here. It's just really hard to like validate it. It's great versus Kartana. It's good versus Aerodactyl. It's good against pretty much all these guys, but the Arcanine. How's it going, everybody? Do I bring Celesteva or do I bring Nine Tails? That is the question that I'm being asking myself right now. I'll bring I'll bring Steela. I don't think Steel is good, but you know what? If I have to switch, like if I get really, really bad leads and I have to switch, uh, Steel is the best bet here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to win this first game because I'm not bringing any of my hail stuff. But, you know, it's probably actually for the best. Yeah, I, I think Cell Steel is actually a better bet because I can, like, Volt Switch into that thing safely. So we'll see. We'll see how I do. It's the very first game of the day. Raichu Gyarados are the lead. Here we go. Alright, um, let's see, so we see Aerodactyl Coco, this is pretty much what I thought. You liking the new outfit on the trainer? Yeah, dude, I changed it up. Alright, so we see Pressure Aerodactyl, so he's gauging, uh, he's gauging my speed tier by this. And we see an Air Balloon Coco, okay. Well, I think I actually want to fake out the Aerodactyl, and, uh, that's not gonna work. He's going to totally see that I'm Scarfed. He should see it by the Coco and the Aerodactyl. He knows that I'm fastest thing on the board. Let's think about what could go wrong here. If I fake out the Aerodactyl and go for a Waterfall, let's say he protects and KOs my, my Gyarados. I can just Encore his Coco next turn. I guess that's not that bad. So I'm just going to go for that then. I mean, I'd be down a Pokemon. I just withdrawing Aerodactyl. So we're going to lose Gyarados either way. He's probably coming with V. Oh, it's Gigalith. A Gigalith takes damage from Waterfall, so this is actually okay with me. Uh, but let's see if we activate a Weakness Policy. I'm like 90% sure he's going to be KOing my Gyarados this turn. I don't know if he Dazzling Gooms, that'd be awesome. <laughs> can, we crit the can we crit the Gigalith? Yeah, he totally read my Scarf. And he's going to T-Bolt my Gyarados. Cool. Just when you play in a fun Pokemon terminal line, you get paired against former champion in the first round. It's true, story of my life when like other people have to play me in like the first round. Alright. Um, I have Coco and Celesteela, two Pokemon that don't really work here. Uh, I will be bringing my Coco though. I do not want to have to fling. I want to save fling for that Aerodactyl. Maybe it means that my Coco isn't the rest, best option then. If we've seen these, it means his last Pokemon, he doesn't have like Arcanine, Feeny, and Carton. He has only one of them. Uh, I think I might bring my Coco then. Yep. Cool. So I have my Coco on the board. I can Z move something. I think I might Z move his Coco. That waterfall did a lot to his Gigalith. I'm thinking about Volt switching on his Gigalith and T-Bolting his Coco, but I think I'm going to switch it up and guarantee that I can check the Gigalith and just Thunderbolt that thing. Yep. Yep, Volt switch onto the Coco slot. You know, I don't have to be Volt switching the Coco. I probably could have got away with hitting the Gigalith, but it's hard to say that Gigalith could totally be vested, and it's going to let me come in with my Steela, which right now I kind of wish was Ninetales, but it's all right. Steel is still a really good Pokemon, guys. He's going for a D-Gleam, so really good getting my Raichu out of that damage. Only problem is now, like, he's going to be able to send his Aerodactyl out and have, like, a huge power play. And I don't know if I want a Speed Tie there, or what went on with that. But I think next turn I can Gigavolt Havoc his Coco. My Celesteel should be able to live through it. Actually, I could, I'll just say that I live the T-Bolt. Yeah, I think next turn I'm, I'm thinking about, if he sends out Aerodactyl, I'm thinking about going for a Dazzling Gleam and uh, Heavy Slam. 
that KO his Aerodactyl and K potentially KO the Coco thanks to Sandstorm Life Orb damage. Pretty sure we still Life Orb this turn. Dude, can you not? Alright, Aerodactyl's pretty freaking fast. You know, I'm actually thinking about protecting with my Coco. Because he could just rock slide me. <laughs> yeah, he could totally just go rock slide, de -gle rock slide Thunderbolt, probably. Let's try this. Let's try it. He's totally going to read me. I know it. He's protecting with his Coco. Okay. Is he just Tailwinding? Tailwind would be really good here, but it, I don't think it would, like, win. I don't think it's a game winner because he just he's lost his Aerodactyl for it. And I haven't started really protecting yet. Like, I still have Fake Outs and Encores left to play. It's decent damage on Arrow. It's going to break the, break the Sash. And then this should KO. Oh my gosh. That is bulky as all hell. It's the Sandstorm boost. Well, that's lame. <laughs> Alright, so my Coco's done for, guys. I think the correct play is actually to Flash Cannon his Coco. Alright. My Coco Protect, even though it's not a really good play. We're just trying to wait out his Tailwind just a little bit. He goes for a Rock Slide. I don't know if he can kill my Celesteel with Rock Slide plus Thunderbolt. But that probably just lost us the game. Oh cool, he's Orb. Thank God. We KO'd it. We did it, boys! <laughs> Worst case scenario, Celesteel is trading one for one. Oh, he T-bolted my Coco, which means he's opening some up for a Flash Cannon. Maybe he thought my Celesteel would Protect, but yo, this is vested, boys. I think we just got it. Oh man, that's a throw and a half. Maybe that's an incorrect target. Maybe. I haven't. I can't say that I win just yet, but it's looking like I'm going to do okay. Because what Pokemon can just grind down Celesteela, Coco, and Raichu at this point? I still haven't even Z-moved yet. Oh, it's Arcanine, which is the correct, like, Arcanine's his best bet. But I think I still got it in the bag. If he wants, to, it's it's gonna go like this. He could KO the Celesteel, right? Or he could KO my Coco and then take damage. He's gonna take big damage on either of these Pokemon regardless. He's gonna Fireball. It's probably my Steela. But then he's opening himself up to eating a... Oh, he's opening up... Alright, that's the correct target. Is E... Yeah, it's banned right now. This is actually gonna do a lot. Look how much damage this does. Oh, man. Look how much damage that does. Oh, it's so juicy. Alright, and then Raichu comes out, we just fake out Air Slash, and then Volt Switch and we win. Let me just check, this has one more turn of Tailwind, right? Yep, but we're just going to fake out him, so it's, that's that. Man, I can't believe I won that game. That's a forfeit, we did it! Cool, we're 1-0. Doing alright, so far.